For ease of searching on the command line, you do not have to type Hebrew vowel points or accents when you search for a Hebrew word. For example, if you're searching for the word Sheol and you type period V A W L on your keyboard and then move to the beginning of the word, type in the at sign and then use the asterisk wild card then hit enter. You're searching for any word with those Hebrew radicals. But if we take a look at the lexicon for that word, I'll right click on it and choose look up lemma in lexicon browser. And let's view this in the holiday Hebrew lexicon. We see that there are two words that use these Hebrew radicals, the shin, aleph, vav, lamet, the word sheol, and the word Shaul. So how do we search for either Sheol or Shaul, but not search for the other word? You can do that by turning on vowel point sensitive searching. There are a couple ways to turn on vowel point sensitive searching. You can right click on the command line and choose vowel point sensitive searching, or you can double click on the status bar where it says vowels to toggle that on or off. Notice that when vowel point sensitive searching is on, the fourth box in the command line versions button turns to yellow, indicating that vowel point sensitive searching is on. If this option is active, search window word lists will include vowel points, and you'll also have to include vowel points when you make entries on the command line. One thing that can be helpful in knowing what to type on the command line is viewing the BibleWorks Hebrew keyboard. You can go to Help, BibleWorks Help Contents, then click on the BibleWorks Hebrew keyboard, and it will display the equivalent Hebrew letters and vowel points for the English keyboard. So to type Sheol, I see that I would need to type first the V, and then my vowel point would follow the shin, so I'd use a period for shava, then a, then a capital A for the holom vav, and then L for lamet. So let's type that on the command line. Period, V, period, A, capital A, then L. I'll move the blinking cursor to the front of the word by clicking in the white space or hitting the N key. Use the at sign, it's always good to enter the at sign and a wildcard asterisk for any following codes when you conduct the command line search in a morphological version like the WTM and hit enter. Thus I've searched for only the word Sheol. Now if I wanna search for only the word Shaul, let's bring up the BiWorks Hebrew keyboard again. In this case, I'll be typing V and the apostrophe for comets, then A, capital W, and then L for the Lamed. So period for my control character, then V, apostrophe key, A, capital W, L for Lamed. Move to the front of the word, at sign, and then the asterisk wildcard and hit enter. Now I've searched for the word Shaul. Command line can sometimes get rather complicated with vowel point entry enabled because you can easily type multiple vowels on a single consonant and that might not be visible on screen because the vowel points will be on top of each other. So you may need to take a look at the underlying ASCII text. You can right click on the command line. And when I turn on reveal text, I can now see the different keyboard strokes that it took to give me those multiple vowel points on that word. So a way to turn on the reveal text mode is to right click and choose reveal text mode force roman font 
And I can always go back to viewing the non-reveal text mode by right-clicking and choosing reveal text mode again so it's unchecked. And I'm back to my word to conduct the search. Don't forget to turn off Valpoint sensitive searching when you're done. Remember you can do that either with a right click and uncheck Valpoint sensitive searching. Or if you see that there is the yellow indicator on there and also vowels is lit up or in white here on the status bar, just give it a double click and that will turn off the Valpoint sensitive searching.